All right, lesson 710. Homework for 7-9. Pause it if you need to. Math box. Sample answer for number four. Triangular prism should look pretty close to that though. Okay, moving on to today's lesson. 339, picture at the right was created on a base of series of photographs that was taken at intervals of 1 20th of a second apart. So they're dropping the ball and from the time they released the ball, when they let the ball go here to here, it was four feet, okay? So they have the elapsed time here, the second in seconds, 1 20th of a second. The, this is how far the ball dropped, okay? So half of a second, it dropped four feet. How far did the ball fall during the first one fourth? Go ahead and write that in. This is your one fourth, five twentieth, so it dropped one foot. And how far had it fallen after half a second? Well, that's the bottom one here, and it fell four feet. Check the statement that you believe is true. A ball falls at a constant speed, or as the ball falls, it picks up speed. And why? Well, as it falls, it picks up speed. And why do you notice what, why? Because, okay, just notice. This is a fourth of a second, it fell one foot. This is a fourth of a second, it fell three more feet. So if it fell three feet in this fourth of a second and fell, whoops, fell one foot in this fourth of a second, then you can see that it fell faster at the end. Okay, Galileo, uh, he, he was a very smart man, okay? A lot of people think of him as an astronomer, which he was, but that also means he was a mathematician. So looking at this formula, distance equals 16 times the time times the time. So same thing as saying 16 times time squared. We use a formula like this when we shut off the rockets. And so when we told you after you shut off your rocket to come back and get your time in seconds, that's because the formula that we used to see how high and your uh, velocity of your rocket, we use something like this. So go ahead and use the table on the back here on 339. Use this to fill out this as far as your time. 16 times time times time. I guess you don't have to use that one. Use like four. What's 16 times four times four? Okay. And then that will be the answer here. So go ahead and pause and do that. Okay, and there's your table. All right, going back. So graph this table onto the grid on page 341 and then use the graph to estimate how many seconds it would take the ball to fall 500 feet. Okay, and then put your answer here. And hopefully you got around five and a half seconds. All right. And go ahead and give the try this 
um, a try. Looking at this, don't forget, 5280 feet in a mile. And try to figure that one out to try this. And if you got about 18 seconds, you should have been pretty close. All right. There's the graph. Let me see if I can find that for you here. What yours should look like. And it does not go up a straight line because it's not a constant speed. Like we talked about at the beginning of this lesson. The first fourth of a second, it fell one foot. The second fourth of a second, it fell three feet. So it got faster, which, which this shows it's getting steeper the, the longer that you're um, looking at here. Okay, here's another one. Um, the time, 32, um, this was a little different formula. This is talking about the speed, 32 times the time. So 32 times three, goes here, 32 times 4, times 5, times 6, and then at about what speed would it would be traveling 18 seconds after it started falling? And then give number 7 a try as well. Pause the video and try those. And hopefully you got those answers, and that one is a straight line, that one is constant. And the math box. There is your math box. And here is your, whoops, sorry. And here is your study link. Complete this table for the squares. For, so we're doing perimeter and then we're doing area. And number one. And then number two, they're just having you graph those results. And then why do the graphs look different? And that's it for this lesson.